So now guys, we're kind of moving to the finished portion of this move. So again, left hand collar tie, outside step. I have this far knee. What's really important here guys, is I'm gonna windshield wiper this ankle and I'm gonna bring my elbow to my hip and really collapse this knee here. And as I do that guys, I'm gonna use my head just like a double and push away from his hip here. So as I, again, rotating, windshield wiper, elbow to knee, push with my head. So guys, in freestyle wrestling, every time I get a takedown, I'm trying to work really hard on top to go right to my turn. So that transition from takedown to turn, especially when you get into higher levels of freestyle wrestling, makes all the difference in the world. So off this, this outside step duck, again, I go here. Notice guys, as I go down, again, we're collapsing this knee. So as he bellies out, I have his knees together. And the race here is gonna be for me to get my head on the far side and my shoulder below his butt. So as he falls, I get my head to the far side and I'm keeping these knees together. Now guys, it's real easy for me to just drop my left hand, scoop, and now I start to walk. So notice guys, as he falls down, I'm gonna punch my head to the mat. As he falls, I punch my head to the mat and I'm bringing his knees together. Now I don't have to rush. I can just take my time since I beat him on position. I'm still driving my toes in. I drop my left hand down. Right hand scoops the knees. And I punch through. So guys, that's my outside step duck under shot. So I would encourage you guys just as you know, you're wrestling and you're progressing and you're getting to some higher levels. Guys will start to notice what you do a lot more and they'll start to defend it a lot more. They'll start to practice defending that shot. So I would encourage you guys to get really creative in your wrestling process and find new ways to set up, set up your shots. So again, I didn't know this outside step shot two years ago and now it's one of my main moves. It's one of my favorite takedowns. It's one of my favorite shots I've hit. So I would encourage you guys to just be creative in your wrestling, keep finding new ways, keep making moves your own thing to fit your style.